So I have been watching a lot of Myron Golden's YouTube channel and I am loving it because I feel like for a few years I've been totally, you know, entrenched in the marketing world, listening to marketing podcast strategies I'm with a mix of personal development in there, but when I came across one of Myron's videos, I felt like, oh my goodness, I've been called back again to learn more about wealth and building a business and systems and creating real wealth and specifically income producing assets. So I thought I would jump on here and share a little bit about one of the moves I've made in business that appears from the outside probably like quite a, I'm, what would we say? Uh, I'm a luxury to have, but actually this is an income producing asset. Okay, let me explain what he talks about. So he talks about that the wealthy create what we call income producing assets. You could view that like a rental property that you're renting out and income is coming in. He also views his YouTube studio. So he owns, I believe, a YouTube studio where he invites live audiences, he hosts events there, but he also records YouTube videos for his channel. Now it's something insane, like he gets paid from YouTube to create content. I don't know the specific number, I think it's like $50,000 a month because he's built up this large following. And he explained what he spent on the studio to have it you know, built and developed and how that he knew that by bringing in $50,000 a month to invest the money to get it done, it was an income producing asset. And I love that perspective on the fact that he needed a space to create content. He gets paid from his content, not only by YouTube, but he obviously will sell courses and books, etc., from that content. So he viewed this as developing an income producing asset. And it's, so great the way he talks about this. Go check him out if you're inclined to. But he also talks about your team being an income producing asset because of course they make money for you. All of those different elements of where you can invest your time and your money into building leads. And so for me at the time I was driving and I was mapping out, not whilst I was driving, but I was listening to him a lot when I was driving. Then I would perhaps come home and think about, right, I actually need to start recording some YouTube videos and get back into the flow. And I've got a young baby at home and his nanny has him during the day. And it's quite a loud house because babies are. I've also got a dog and my mum lives there. And so it's quite a busy house. And when I used to live, you know, without any children, I used to be able just to pick up the camera and record at any point. And I didn't realise how much of a luxury that was until I had a baby and realized I can't just do this at any time. And I looked into getting a space six months prior, but I would say at that point, I had viewed it as a luxury, just as a, I've always wanted an office like out with the house because it's my dream to make spaces like this lovely. Um, and it was until I heard him talk about this studio being an income producing asset this place that I'm in right now just happened to pop up on the web and I was like oh my god that is a blank canvas I can make that look great I viewed it I took it um, and at the time it felt like quite a big leap we just it wasn't a leap financially we just had our biggest month and um, which was an $130,000 month and stayed your boss and so it wasn't the financial leap it was just the commitment it was just the taking on this space and I created a real pro and con list of, did I want this space or not? And the pros definitely outweighed the cons. And what I love it for is this is my income producing asset studio that doubles up both as a place to record podcasts, YouTube videos, do Zoom calls, host challenges. And it's completely uninterrupted. It's completely free for me all the time. And I just knew for me at that point that this was all happening for a reason. I'd stumbled across that video, I'd watched it, I'd found the place I needed and it's been an absolute game changer already and we've only had this place a couple of months. So I thought I'd share with you, if you're perhaps considering it for yourself, some of the benefits I found from taking on this office space. And I've actually not used it as much as I would like to, just with the busyness of life and some things happening. 
Um, but even in the short space of time I have used it and the few times I have, it's been awesome. Now, of course, the con is, a con is that it's a monthly expense. I'm just renting this place. And also another con would be the setup of it. It was quite intense. I ordered everything myself. Um, obviously, you could hire in like a staging company to do that, wink, wink. Um, but I was doing it myself because that's what I do for a living. <laughs> And so yeah, it took about a month to get it set up and to get it decorated and to get the furniture built and everything that I wanted in place. Um, so there is a bit of an upfront cost, there is a bit of an upfront investment, but the pros honestly outweigh it on all the other side. What this has been a great space for me is headspace. Being, I mean, working at home, I've now worked from home for like nine years. I've moved many times within that time, but I've always loved working at home and I still do. So this was actually one of the things that was kind of pulling me away from doing it. I thought, oh, but I love working at home. I love just being able to get out of bed and work. Um, but I realized, well, I could do it a few days a week. I could go there a few days a week, get home a few days a week and just do it when I feel like it. So if you don't, I thought I might feel like this absolute attachment that I had to go, but I just accepted I will go when I feel like it and I'll stay home when I feel like it. So it has been an amazing headspace for me just to come, be totally removed from the house. And what I love is you can close the door, be finished with work and leave it at the office. Literally leave it at the office. And I do have a home office, which I also use, but I do love having this space that is totally dedicated to work. It really helped me think expansively. Another pro is that it was actually saving me money. So I was spending a lot of money on hotel rooms. I was booking like a few nights away, recording in the hotel room, just so I could have that peace, that quiet. And so that was costing me easily for one night in a hotel, like 400. Um, and my rent is not too much more than that. So that was an absolute game changer. Headspace, the fact it's, you know, saving money on the hotel. I also love putting as little barriers in place to recording as possible because I don't, I can't say, I, I do love recording when I get on camera and I get onto the mic, but the thought of it, I don't want to do it. Like, I don't want to put my makeup on. I can't be bothered. I'd rather sit behind my screen. The fact that I have it all set up, I just hit record. There's, you know, as little resistance as possible just to sit, click record and go. So again, having like a backdrop set up, having the camera in the right position, having the mic set up is a game changer. And then the final reason why I wanted the space was we host a lot of VIP days here where I coach and strategize with our one-to-one -one clients on their business. And we host those at a five star hotel and we will continue to host the experience at a nearby five star hotel that's called So Salty Grande. But when it comes to like needing a boardroom and a whiteboard and slides or a screen, internet connection, quiet, sometimes that can be a little bit busy. You can't exactly find the right space. Check-in times are awkward. So this is moving forward where we'll be hosting or VIP one-to-one -one days, we might have private clients here, and it's just a perfect space. So, have I convinced you? <laughs> Do you need an income-producing asset? Do you need an office space? Do you need a content studio? This has been a game changer for me. I can't wait to use it more as time goes on. I'm, I'm just looking to up-level our content. I'm looking to up-level the quantity, the quality, the backdrops, the interiors, um, so that's why I'm here and I will be doing a reveal on this very, very soon. I am going to bring it to YouTube so you can see the space and it's not even super, super over the top. It's exactly what we need it for and it is already worth its weight in gold. So if you're looking for a sign, do it. <laughs>